Hey guys, so I'm going to show you the skin routine that took my skin from this to this. I'm a licensed esthetician, I own a med spa, and I've struggled with acne pretty much my whole life up until just a few years ago. And this is the routine that helped me completely transform my skin. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is a double cleanse. So I'm going to start with an oil-based cleanser. What this is going to do is remove any makeup, dirt, debris, if you have sunscreen on, moisturizer. Think of it kind of like sweeping before you mop to get a deeper clean. Also, I have these cute little things on to prevent the water from on clean but dry hands and a dry face. I don't have to wet anything. I'm going to go in with a pump of an oil-based cleanser. And I'm going to massage this in for a full 60 seconds. You don't want to do anything less than 60 seconds because then it's kind of wasteful. Now, I know what you're thinking. If I have acne prone skin, why am I using something that's oil based? And that is a great question. But if you're using the correct oil based cleanser, they are supposed to be non continuogenic, which basically means they're not going to clog your pores. They're only going to do the job that they're made for, which is cleansing the skin and also removing all the things that I told you. Obviously, don't forget the neck as well. After a full 60 seconds, I'm going to thoroughly rinse. I'm going to take one of my clean skin club towels and pat my skin until it's damp. You don't want it fully dry, but you just don't want it sopping wet because when we go in with the next cleanser, we don't want it to dilute. So these are the skin club towels that I'm using. They're the 50 count XL. I love these because they're so big. If you wanted to, you could literally tear them in half and make them last longer. Now for my second cleanse, which is the mopping after you sweep is the purifying willow cleanser sometimes when i'm feeling a little more sensitive i will do the green tea gentle cleanser but today i'm going to do the willow so this one is going to be a more targeted cleanse focused on acne and controlling the oil and helping decongest the pores so again making sure you're massaging in for a full 60 seconds is super important okay after these 60 seconds is up I'm going to rinse again and pat dry with my skin club towel and the reason I love the skin club towels is because using a towel is not the most sanitary it can definitely hold bacteria and sometimes even be just a little too rough on the skin especially if you have active breakouts just the friction alone can cause irritation and cause the bacteria to spread around the skin with these they're disposable okay so now that i'm done with my cleanse i'm back at my vanity i'm going to be going in with my micro peel toning and exfoliating pads this has salicylic acid glycolic and lactic acid the reason i like these pads is because they help with both types of acne both inflamed and non-inflamed so they have a slight texture on the pad to help with blackheads and non-inflamed acne but they're also pre-soaked with all the acids that i mentioned an active ingredients that helps with inflamed acne there's so many different actives like the ones i mentioned there's also retinols as well as benzoyl peroxide if you're unsure which one you should be using i definitely recommend to reach out to an esthetician in your area so they can help you but if you're not sure what you're doing and you just go to sephora and ulta and grab something random you can risk burning yourself now typically you want to be exfoliating about two to three times a week if you are a little on the sensitive side, start with one to two times a week and then go from there. If you feel like you can bump it up, do that. If not, stick to what works for you. And it is normal when you start adding in any type of actives or exfoliants to start feeling sensitive and maybe even slightly irritated. That's completely normal. As long as it's minimal and nothing too crazy, I would say give your skin about four to six weeks to adjust. Next, I'm going to go in with the Hydro Mist. So this is a recovery spray. Any type of actives are going to be a little bit intense, so, so I love using this to bring my skin back to its normal, calm, and hydrated state. We also use this a lot after we do laser on somebody's skin, a chemical peel, because it's that good at calming. Now, you want to let that dry in because you don't want to apply creams onto a wet face because that could just pull out the moisture. Next, I'm going to go in with an eye cream. Now, eye creams are obviously great for anti-aging, but if you do struggle with melia, which is a form of congestion, um, it's those little tiny white balls that are really hard to get out, and they're just like 
little hard balls that build up that can sometimes happen from using too thick of a cream or moisturizer in the eye area so that's why it's important to be using a high quality eye cream and that's also why i layer it before i do any serums or moisturizers next i'm going in with a brightening serum now this specific serum is very brightening as well as hydrating and this is a new formula i've been working on for our line so i'm not going to show it just yet also never forget the neck now last but not least i'm going in with the balance boost acne safe lightweight moisturizer so this is really great at balancing the skin making sure it's not too oily but also not dehydrated again never forget the neck so moisturizer is basically just going to hydrate and seal everything in. So you want to make sure you work that in. And just because you're acne prone or more on the oily side does not mean you should be skipping moisturizer. If anything, you definitely need it more. Because if you skip moisturizer or you're using something that is drying your skin out, it can send a signal to your pores to overproduce sebum as a form of protection. Now, obviously, I used all the products from my line, um, which we do sell at naluskinandbody.com. But if you're not wanting to do that, you can definitely reach out to an esthetician in your area. And they would be more than happy to help you find something best suited for your skin. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe.